is our God always, God ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee, O heavenly King, comforter, spirit of truth, Lord ever, our president, fill us all things. Treasury of good things and giver of life, come and dwell in us and cleanse us from all impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy and moral, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy and moral, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy and moral, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and under the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, blot out our sins, O Master, pardon our iniquities, O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities, for thy name's sake. Go to mercy, go to mercy, go to mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and under the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. And his kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and ever, and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Amen. What a mercy, 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 what a mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship God our King. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself our King and God. How beloved are thy dwellings, O Lord of hosts, my soul longeth and fainteth for the force of the Lord, my heart and my flesh have rejoiced in the living God. For the sparrow hath found herself a house, and the turtle dove a nest for herself, where she may lay her young, even thine altars, O Lord of hosts, my kingdom, my God. Blessed are they that dwell in thy house, under the ages of ages shall they praise thee. Blessed is the man whose help is from thee. He hath made a sense in his heart, in the veil of weeping, in the place which he hath appointed. Yea, for the lawgiver will give blessings, they shall go from strength to strength. The God of God shall be seen in Zion, O Lord of hosts. Hearken unto my prayer, good ear, O God of Jacob. O God, our defender, behold and look upon the face of thine anointed one, for better is one day in thy courts than thousands elsewhere. I have chosen rather to be an outcast in the house of my God than to dwell in the tent of sinners. But the Lord loveth mercy and truth. God will give grace and glory to them. The Lord will withhold good will not withhold good things from them that walk in innocence. O Lord God of hosts, blessed is the man that hopeth in thee. Thou hast been gracious, O Lord, unto thy land. Thou hast turned back the captivity of Jacob. Thou hast forgiven the iniquities of thy people. Thou hast covered all their sins. Thou hast made all thy wrath to cease. Thou hast turned back from the wrath of thy anger. Turn us back, O God, of our salvation, and turn away thy anger from us. Wilt thou be wroth with us unto the ages, or wilt thou draw thy wrath from generation to generation? O God, thou wilt turn and quicken us, and thy people shall be glad in thee. Show us, O Lord, thy mercy and thy salvation, do thou give unto us. I will hear what the Lord God will speak in me, for he will speak peace to his people and to his saints and to them that turn their hearts unto him. Surely not unto them that fear him is his salvation, that glory may dwell in our land. Mercy and truth are met together, righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Truth is sprung out of the earth, and righteousness hath looked down from heaven. Yea, for the Lord will give goodness, and our land shall yield her fruit. Righteousness shall go before him, and shall and he shall put his and shall his footsteps and shall set his footsteps in the way. Bow down thine ear, O Lord, and hearken unto me, for poor and needy am I, preserve my soul, for I am holy. Save thy servant, O my God, that open in thee. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for unto thee will I cry all the day long. Make glad this, <clears throat> the soul of thy servant, for unto thee have I lifted up my soul. For thou, O Lord, art good and gentle, and plenteous in mercy unto all of them that call upon thee. Give ear, O Lord, unto my prayer, and attend unto the voice of my supplications. In the day of mine affliction, how I cried unto thee, for thou hast heard me. There is none like unto thee among the gods, O Lord, nor are there any works like unto thy works. All the nations whom thou hast made shall come and shall worship before thee, O Lord, and shall glorify thy name, for thou art great and workest wonders. Thou alone art God. Guide me, O Lord, in thy way, and I will walk in thy truth. Let thy heart rejoice that I may fear thy name. I will confess thee, O Lord, my God, with all my heart, and I will glorify thy name forever. For great is thy mercy upon me, and thou hast delivered my soul from the nethermost Hades. O God, transgressors have risen up against me, and the assembly of the mighty hath sought after my soul, and they have not set thee before them. But thou, O Lord, my God, art compassionate and merciful, long-suffering and plenteous in mercy and truth. Look upon me and have mercy upon me. Give thy strength unto thy servant, and save the son of thy handmaid. Work in me a sign unto good, and let them that hate me behold me put to shame. But thou, O Lord, hast spoken me and comforted me. Work in me a sign unto good, and let them that hate me be bold and be put to shame, for thou, O Lord, hast spoken me and comforted me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. 
Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to thee, O God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to thee, O God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to thee, O God. Lord, mercy, Lord, mercy, Lord, mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. We come with the ninth hour for our sacred state of death in the flesh. Let us have a few of our flesh for Christ God and save us. My supplication, God, I before thee, O Lord, according to thine work, will give me understanding. For thou who at the night art, for I seek the states of death in the flesh, that in the subtlety of our flesh, O Christ, God, and save us. My supplication, come before thee, O Lord, according to thine work, will deliver me. For thou who at the night art, for I seek the states of death in the flesh, then in the subtlety of our flesh, O Christ, God, and save us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O thou who never unto the ages of ages, Amen. O thou who for our sake was born of a virgin, and didst suffer crucifixion, O good one, and didst despoil death by death. And as God didst reveal the resurrection, disdain not them which thou hast fashioned with thy hand, which shows forth thy love for mankind, O merciful one. Accept the fear of those who gave thee birth, who interceded for us, and do thou, our Savior, save a despairing people. Deliver us, and not us, thee for thy holy name's sake. Neither disannul not thou thy covenant, and cause not thy mercy to depart from us. For Abraham's sake, thy beloved, and for Isaac's sake, thy servant, and for Israel's thy holy one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, who is now and ever and the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, blot out our sins. O Master, pardon our iniquities. O Holy One, visit and pay our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Thanks to the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and ever the end of the day. Amen. Seeing the author of life hanging on the cross, the thief said, For it's not God incarnate who is crucified with us, the Son would not have made its face. Nor would the earth have quaked and trembled, but do thou who endurest all things remember me, O Lord, in thy kingdom. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. In the midst of two thieves, thy cross was found to be a balance of justice for the one who was borne down to Hades by the weight of his blasphemy. The other was raised up from his sins to the knowledge of theology. O Christ God, glory be to thee, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. When she who bare the Lamb and the Shepherd and Savior of the world beheld him on the cross, she said with tears, The world rejoices at receiving redemption, but my vows burn as I see thy crucifixion, which thou endurest for all, O my Son and my God. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Thou who at all times and at every hour in heaven and on earth are tortured and glorified, O Christ God, who art long suffering, pontius in mercy, most compassionate, who lovest the righteous and has mercy on sinners, who call us all to salvation through the promise of good things to come. Receive, O Lord, our prayer at this hour and guide our life toward thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, make chaste our bodies, correct our thoughts, purify our intentions, and deliver us from every sorrow, evil, and pain. Compass us about with thy believers, and guarded and guided by their array, we may attain to the unity of the faith and the knowledge of thine unapproachable glory, for blessed are thou in the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and in the ages of Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, the very thing that goes thee to be magnified. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. And be gracious unto us, and bless us, and cause thy face to shine upon us, and have mercy on us. Amen. O Lord and Master of my life, the spirit of idleness, despondency, ambition, and idle talk, and give me life.
Brother, spirit of chastity, humble mindedness, patience, and love, bestow upon me thy servant. Dear O Lord, King, grant me to see my own feelings and not condemn my brother. The blessed art thou unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Master, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, who art long suffering in the face of our transgression, and who would have brought us even unto this present hour, wherein now this day of pain upon the life of Jesus, in its make way into paradise for the wise thief, and by death its destroy death, be gracious unto us sinners and thine unworthy servants, for we have sinned and committed the and we have not, and are not worthy to lift up our lives. And behold the height of heaven, for we have abandoned the way of thy righteousness, and have walked in the desires of our hearts. But we beseech thy boundless goodness, bear us to the Lord according to the multitude of thy mercy, and save us for thy holy name's sake. For our days were consumed in vanity. Rescue us from the hand of the adversary, and forgive us our sins, and multiply our common mind, and that putting aside the old man, and make the path of you, and live for thee, our master and benefactor, and that thus by following thy commandments we may attain to Christ everlasting, wherein is the golden place of all things that we wish, for thou art in the midst of the joy and gladness of him that loves thee, O Christ our God, and under thee we shall be glory with thy honor to the Father, and thy most holy and good and right pleasing spirits, now and ever, and ever, and ever, and ever, and ever, Bless Master, it is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the age of the future. Amen. O come, let us worship God our King. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ Himself our King and God. Bless the Lord, O my soul, O Lord, my God, that has been magnified exceedingly. Confession and majesty has thou put on. Cover us thyself, which light us with the garment, who stretches out the heaven as it were a curtain, who supporteth his chambers in the waters, who appointeth the clouds for his ascent, who walketh upon the wings of the winds, who maketh his angel spirit and his ministers a flame of fire, who establisheth the earth and turneth thereof, and shall not be turned back forever and ever. Be of this like a garment as his mantle. Upon the mountain shall the water stand. At thy rebuke they will flee. At the voice of thy thunder shall they be afraid. The mountains rise up and the plains sink down. Unto the place where thou hast established them, thou appointest the bound, and there is an end. That they shall not pass, neither return to cover the earth. He sendeth forth springs in the valleys between the mountains for the waters to come. <coughs> they shall give drink to all the beasts of the field, the young. The, the wild asses will wait to quench their thirst. Beside them the birds of the heaven lodge. From the midst of the rocks will they give voice. He watereth the mountains with his, from his chambers. The earth shall be satisfied with the fruit of thy works. He causeth the grass to grow for the cattle, and green earth for the service of men, to bring forth bread out of the earth. And wine maketh glad the heart of man, to make his face cheerful with oil, and bread strengtheneth man's heart. The trees of the plain shall be satisfied. The cedars of Lebanon which thou hast planted, there will the sparrows make their nests. The house of the Heron is chief among them. The high mountains are a refuge for the hearts, and so the rock for the hares. He hath made the moon for seasons, the sun knoweth it's going down. Thou appointest the darkness, and there was the night, wherein all the beasts of the forest will go abroad. Young lions growing after their prey and seeking their food from God. The sun ariseth, and they are gathered together, and they lay them down in their dens. But man shall go forth unto his work, and to his labor unto the evening. How magnified are the works, O Lord, and wisdom hast thou made them all. The earth is filled with thy creation, so is this great and spacious sea. There are things creeping and innumerable, small and living creatures with the greats. There go the ships, there the dragons, the dragons made to play therein. All things wait on thee to give them their food in due season. When thou givest it them, they will gather it. When thou openest thy, thy hand, all things shall be filled with thy goodness. When thou turnest away thy face, they shall be troubled. Thou wilt take their spirit, and they shall cease, and unto their dust shall they return. Thou wilt send forth thy spirit, and they shall be created, and thou shalt renew the face of the earth. But the glory of the Lord be unto the ages. The Lord will rejoice in his works. Who looketh on the earth, and maketh it tremble. Who toucheth the mountains, and they smoke. I will sing unto the Lord throughout my life. I will chant to my God for as long as I have my being. May my words be sweet unto him, and I will rejoice in the Lord. All that sinners would cease from the earth, and they that work iniquity, that they should be no more. Bless the Lord, O my soul. The sun knows is going down. Thou appointest the darkness, and there is the night. I magnify the works, O Lord, and wisdom hast thou made them all. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, but now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. I 
Hallelujah, 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 glory to thee, O God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to thee, O God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to thee, O God. Let peace and let peace go. For the peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord For the peace of the whole world and the good estate of the holy churches of God and the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord For this holy temple and for them that with faith, reverence, and the fear of God enter herein, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy temple and for them that with faith, reverence, and the fear of God enjoy herein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our great Lord and Father, His Holiness Patriarch, He will. For our Lord, the very most reverend Metropolitan Nicholas, first hierarch of the Russian Church abroad, for the venerable priesthood, the diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. For our all venerable Father and the abbot of this holy monastery, our commander at Seraphim, and all his brethren in Christ, and let us be to the Lord. Lord for this land, its authorities and armed forces, let us speak to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the God-preserved Russian land and its orthodox people, both in the homeland and in the diaspora, and for their salvation, let us speak to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy monastery, for the city and country, and the faithful that dwell therein, let us speak to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For season of weather, abundance of the fruits of the earth, and peaceful times, let us speak to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For travelers by sea, land, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the imprisoned, and for their salvation, let us speak to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That we may be delivered from all tribulation, wrath, and necessity, let us speak to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us so in God may thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling for remembrance, our most holy, most pure, most blessing, glorious city, the Otokos, and ever virgin, marrying with all the saints. Let us commit ourselves and one another and all our life unto Christ our God.
should not go into the building of my house. I should not sit upon the bed of my couch. I should not give sleep to my eyes, nor slumber to my eyelids, nor rest to my temples, until I find a place for the Lord, a habitation for the God of Jacob. Lo, we are further in Ephrathah, we are founded in the plains of the Lord. Let us go forth into this tabernacle, so let us worship at the place where his feet have stood. Arise, O Lord, into thy rest, now in the ark of thy holiness. Thy feet shall be clothed with righteousness, and thy righteous shall rejoice. For the sake of David thy servant, turn not thy face away from thy anointed one. The Lord has sworn in truth unto David, and he will not acknowledge. But the fruit of thy loins was set upon thy throne. And thy sons keep my covenant, and these testimonies which I will teach them, their sons also shall sit forever on thy throne. For the Lord hath elected Zion, he hath chosen her to be a habitation for himself. This is my rest forever and ever. Here will I go, for I have chosen her. Blessing I will bless her pursuit. Her beggars will I satisfy with bread. Her face will I clothe with salvation. And her saints will rejoice and shall rejoice. And there will I make to spring forth a thorn for David. I prepare a lamp for my cries. His enemies will I clothe with shame, but upon him shall my sanctification flourish. Behold now what is so good or so joyous as with reverence to go together in unity. It is like the oil of mirror upon the head which runneth down upon the beard, upon the beard of air which runneth down to the fringe of his raiment. It is like the dew of Ramon which runneth down upon the mountains of Zion. And there the Lord commanded the blessing of life forevermore. Behold now blessed are the Lord, ye servants of the Lord, ye that stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God. And the knights lift up your hands unto the holies. And bless the Lord, the Lord bless the out of Zion, be thy name, heaven and new earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Hallelujah, 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 glory to thee, O God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to thee, O God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to thee, O God. Again and again, and peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and give us all your mercy. All in grim, 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 sour, most holy, most pure, most blessed, glorious, and evil, to a close, and ever virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commit ourselves and one another in all our life unto Christ our God. Let me confess thy name, 
Let us submit to death that we may be crowned with crowns of victory. By Christ God, the Savior of our souls. In the morning watch until night from the morning watch. Let Israel hope in the Lord. Come, all ye who love the martyrs. Let us be glad in spirit and keep festival. For today Theodore the martyr has set a mystical table. Gladdening us to celebrate with love, who we'll cry unto him, rejoice, O invincible passion bearer, who has dispelled the tyrant's thrust. Rejoice, thou who gavest thy body a play to be tortured for Christ God. Rejoice, thou who in various misfortunes. This proved to be a tribe warrior of the heavenly host. Wherefore we entreat the adornment of martyrs to pray for our souls. With the Lord there is mercy, with him is plenteous redemption. And he shall redeem Israel out of all his iniquities. The God given grace of thy miracles, O mighty Theodore. Thou dost extend to all the ways into thee and faith. For this we praise thee, saying, Thou dost deliver prisoners, heal us the sick, give us riches to the poor, and guard us those who sail the seas. Restrain the slaves from useless flight, and show us robbers what their punishment will be, and teach us soldiers to abstain from plunder. Thou mercifully grantest the petition of children, and art the friend and protector of those who keep thy holy memory. With thou we also sing in praise of thy martyrdom, O holy sufferer. Pray to Christ that he grant thee mercy. O oh, praise the Lord, all ye nations. Praise him, all ye peoples. A matchless gift from God art thou, O mighty Theodore. For also after thy death as during thy lifetime, thou grantest the petitions of those who hasten to thee. Wherefore, when the son of a poor widow was taken away by soldiers of another faith, she came in tears to thy temple. And thou in loving mercy didst defend her child in visibly. And thou as them never dost thou cease from working wonders, but pray to Christ God that our souls be saved. We have made his mercy to prevail over us, and the truth of the Lord abideth forever. I honor thee who art named the gift of God, O thrice blessed Theodore. For thou hast been revealed as an ever setting star of the divine light, and through thy sufferings thou hast shown on all the world, and proving thyself to be stronger than fire, thou hast quenched the flames and crushed the head of the deceitful serpent. Wherefore, during thy sufferings, Christ came and crowned thy divine head. O great martyr, suffer as thou hast great boldness before God. Fervently intercede for our souls. Glory in the sixth home. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Using as his tool the apostate emperor. The enemy device a cruel plot. With food polluted by unclean sacrifices, he sought to defile the people of God as they purified themselves through fasting. Without his defeat is designed by a more skillful plan. For thou didst appear in a dream to the archbishop, revealing deeper knowledge and disclosing the plot. Therefore we offer thee a sacrifice of thanksgiving, calling thee our deliverer, and keeping the yearly memorial of the miracle.
miracle that I'm performed. And we pray that we may be saved from the harmful machinations of the evil one. Through thy intercessions before God, O Mother Theodore. now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The King of heaven, out of love for mankind, appeared on the earth and fell among men. For he who took pleasure from all said to the woman, Wherefore hath God said, Eat not of every tree of paradise? 
And the woman said to the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of every tree of paradise, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of paradise, God said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said to the woman, Ye shall not die the death, for God knew that in whatever day ye should eat of it, your eyes would be opened, and ye would be as gods, knowing good and evil. And the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes to look upon, and beautiful to contemplate. And having taken its fruit, she ate and gave to her husband, who also ate with her, and they ate. And the eyes of both were opened, and they perceived that they were naked. And they sewed fig leaves together, and made themselves aprons to go around them. And they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in paradise in the afternoon. And both Adam and his wife hid themselves from the face of the Lord God in the midst of the trees of paradise. And God called Adam and said, and said to him, Adam, where art thou? And he said to him, I heard thy voice as thou walkest in paradise. And I feared because I was naked and I hid myself. And God said to him, who told thee that thou art naked unless thou hast eaten of the tree concerning which I charge thee of it alone not to eat? And Adam said, The woman thou, whom thou gavest to me to be with me, she gave me of the tree, and I ate. And the Lord God said to the woman, Why hast thou done this? And the woman said, The serpent deceived me, and I ate. And the Lord God said to the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle, and all the beasts of the earth. On thy breast and belly thou shalt go, and thou shalt eat earth all the days of thy life. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. He, he shall watch against thy head, and thou shalt watch against his heel. And to the woman he said, I will greatly multiply thy grief and thy groanings. In pain thou shalt bring forth children, and thy submission shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. And to Adam he said, Because thou hast hearkened to the voice of thy wife, and eaten of the tree concerning which I charge thee of it only not to eat, of it thou hast eaten. Cursed is the ground in thy labors, in sorrow shalt thou eat of it all the days of thy life. Thorns and thistles shall it bring forth to thee, and thou shalt eat the herb of the field, and the sweat of thy face shalt thou eat thy bread until thou returnest to the earth, out of which thou hast was taken. For earth thou art, and to earth shalt thou return. And Adam called the name of his wife Life, because she, because she was the mother of all living. In the sixth stone, be thou exalted, O Lord, in thy strength. We will sing and chant of the mighty acts. Be thou exalted. Be thou exalted, O Lord, in thy strength. We will sing and chant of thy mighty act. O Lord, in thy strength the king shall be glad. Be thou exalted, O Lord, in thy strength. We will sing and chant of thy mighty act. Be thou exalted, O Lord, in thy strength. We will sing and chant of thy mighty act. Amen. It's come. All right. The light of Christ enlighteneth all. Reading is from Proverbs. God by wisdom founded the earth, and by understanding he prepared the heavens. By his sense were the depths broken up, and the clouds stopped water. My son, let them not pass from thee, but keep my counsel and understanding, that thy soul may live, and that there may be grace around thy neck, and it shall be health to thy flesh and safety to thy bones, that thou mayest go confidently in peace in all thy ways, and that thy foot may not stumble. For if thou rest, thou shalt be undismayed, and if thou sleep, thou shalt slumber sweetly, and thou shalt not be afraid of alarm coming upon thee, neither of approaching attacks of ungodly men. For the Lord shall be over all thy ways, and shall establish thy foot, that thou be not moved. Forbear not to do good to the poor, whensoever thy hand may have power to help him. Say not, come back into the time, and tomorrow I will give, while thou art able to do him good. For thou knowest not what the next day will bring forth. Devise not evil against thy friend, 
living in near thee and trusting in thee. Be not ready to quarrel the man without cause, lest he do thee some harm. Procure not the reproaches of bad men, neither do thou covet their ways. For every transgressor is unclean before the Lord, neither doth he sit among the righteous. The curse of the Lord is on the houses of the ungodly, but the habitations of the righteous are blessed. The Lord resisteth the proud, but he giveth grace to the humble. The reading is from the prophecy of Isaiah. Let all the nations be gathered together, and let the people be assembled. Who among them can declare this and show us former things? Let them bring forth their witnesses, that they may be justified. Or let them hear and say, It is truth. Ye are my witnesses, saith the Lord, and my servant whom I have chosen, that ye may know and believe me, and understand that I am he. Before me there was no God formed, neither shall there be after me. I, even I, am the Lord, and beside me there is no Savior. I have declared and have saved, and I have showed, when there was no strange God among you. Therefore ye are my witnesses, saith the Lord, that I am God. Yea, before the day was, I am he, and there is none that can deliver out of my hand. I will work, and who shall let it? Thus saith the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. The reading is from the wisdom of Solomon. The souls of the righteous are in the hand of God, and there shall no torment touch them. In the sight of the unwise they seem to die, and their departure is taken for misery, and their going from us to be utter destruction. But they are in peace. For though they be punished in the sight of men, yet is their hope full of immortality. And having been a little chastised, they shall be greatly rewarded. For God proved them, and found them worthy for himself. As gold in the furnace hath he tried them, and received them as a burnt offering. <coughs> And in the time of their visitation they shall shine and run to and fro like sparks among the stubble. They shall judge the nations and have dominion over the people, and their Lord shall reign forever. Those who put their trust in him shall understand the truth, and such as be faithful in love shall abide with him. For grace and mercy is to his saints, and he hath care for his elect. Wisdom. The reading is from the wisdom of Solomon. The righteous live forevermore, their reward also is with the Lord, and the care of them is with the Most High. Therefore shall they receive a glorious kingdom, and a beautiful crown from the Lord's hand. For with his right hand shall he cover them, and with his arm shall he protect them. He shall take to him his jealousy for complete armor, and make the creature his weapon for the revenge of his enemies. He shall put on righteousness as a breastplate, and true judgment instead of a helmet. He shall take holiness for an invincible shield. His severe wrath shall he sharpen for his sword, and the world shall fight with him against the unwise. Then shall the right aiming thunderbolts go abroad, <clears throat> and from the clouds as from a well-drawn bow shall they fly to the mark. And hailstones full of wrath shall be cast as out of a stone bow, and the water of the sea shall rage against them, and their flood shall cruelly drown them. Yea, a mighty wind shall stand up against them, and like a storm shall blow them away. Thus iniquity shall lay waste the whole earth, and ill-dealing shall overthrow the thrones of the mighty. Hear therefore, O ye kings, and understand. Learn ye that be judges of the ends of the earth. Give ye are ye that rule the people, and glory in the multitude of nations. For power is given you of the Lord. In sovereignty from the Most High. And to thy spirit, with
Thank you, Minister Lord.
creator of all things, visible and invisible, the co-eternal, co-origin, son of the originate Father, who art thy great goodness, the visible that it takes, hold thyself in flesh, that was crucified and buried for us, and we upon the bliss those ones, and as we knew with thine own blood, our nature corrupted by sin, did thou thyself for immortal king, accept the repentance of me as sinner, and find the near to me, and hearken unto my words, for I have sinned against heaven and before thee, and I am not worthy to look upon thy thy glory. For I have thy goodness by transgressing thy commandments and have been my injunctions. But thou, O Lord, for not vengeful, but long suffering and princess and mercy, has not given me over to be destroyed of my sins, but always thou awaitest my complete conversion. For thou hast said, O lover of mankind, to thy prophet, for I desire not the death of a sinner, but that he should return and live. For thou desirest not, O Master, to destroy the work of thy hands, and neither shalt thou be pleased with the destruction of men, but thou desirest that all be saved and come to all knowledge of the truth. Wherefore, even I, O Lord, worthy of the man, earth, and of this people of life, having submitted my whole self to sin, and made myself a slave of pleasure, and having the face that image should be in thy work of creation, wretched do I be, I despair not of my salvation, and dare to approach the miserable loving kindness. Accept even me, me, O Lord, lover of mankind, as thou didst accept the sinful man, that he is the public and the prodigal, and take away the heavy burden of my sins. Thou that takest away the sin of the world, and kills the influences of mankind, who callest the me, and who will not to thyself, and give us the rest, who camest not to call the righteous, but sinners to be innocent, and do thou cleanse me from all the defilement of flesh and spirit, and teach me to achieve holiness in the fear of thee, that with the pure testimony of my conscience, receiving a portion of thy holy things, I may be united unto thy holy body and blood, and happy living and abiding in me, with the Father and that Holy Spirit, me, O Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not the communion of thine immaculate and life-giving mysteries be unto me for judgment, not unto infirmity of soul and body, because of my partaking of them unworthily, but grant me even unto my last breath, to receive without condemnation the portion of thy holy things, and to communion with the Holy Spirit, as a provision for life eternal, for an acceptable defense of thy dread judgment seat, so that I also, with all thine elect, may become a partaker in thy incorruptible blessings, which thou hast prepared for them that love thee, O Lord, and whom thou art glorified from the ages of men. O Lord my God, I know that I am not worthy or sufficient that thou shouldest give to me the hope of the temple of my soul, for all is empty and fallen, and thou hast not given me a place worthy to lay thy head. But as we know, I that do thyself for our sake, and thou now also for thyself to my holiness, and as thou didst consent to lie in the cave and to the anger of thou beasts, so consent also to lie in the anger of my irrational soul that has entered in my defiled body. And as thou didst now refuse to enter to thine and sin into the house of Simon the leper, so then also to enter to the house of my holy soul, leper and sinful. And as thou didst now reject the harlot and sinner like me when she came and touched thee, so be compassionate also with me as sinners I have heard and touched thee. And as thou didst be all holy for the defiled and the lips of her that kissed thee, and thou also now loathe my defiled lips and my abominable name of your mouth, and my polluted and unclean tongue. But let that fiery coal that was holy by my precious blood be unto me for sanctification and enlightenment, and help my holy soul and body, and to the lightning of the burden of my many sins, for preservation from every act of the devil, for the expulsion and for division of my evil and wicked habits, and to the mortification of the passions, and to the keeping of thy commandments, and to the application of thy divine grace, and unto the acquiring of thy kingdom. For now with this day do I approach thee, O Christ God, but as one trusting in thine and of all goodness, and that I may not by much obscene to thy communion be humble of prayer in the spiritual world. Wherefore do I entreat thee, for thou art the only holy one, O Master. Sanctify my soul and body, my mind and pride, my belly and inward parts, and me entirely, and implant thy fear in my members, and make thy sanctification inevitable from me. And be unto me a help and a tender, guiding my life in peace. God save for me also to stand at thy right hand with thy sins, through the intercessions and the supplications of thy most pure mother, of thy immaterial ministers and immaculate hosts, and of all the saints who from the ages have been pleasing unto thee, Amen. Holy, pure, and sinless, who will through thee and the of compassion with thy love for mankind, that stay on all of our substance with the pure and virgin blood of God that bear thee supernaturally. And to the descent of the divine spirit and the good glory of the 
everlasting Father, O Christ Jesus, wisdom of God, and peace and power, thou who through the assumption of our nature didst take upon thyself that life giving and saving passion, the cross, the nails, the spear, and death, mortify the soul corrupting passions of my body, thou who by thy virulence and captive the kingdom of Hades, bear with the thoughts, my evil schemes, and destroy the spirits of evil. Thou who by thy life and resurrection on the third day didst raise up our fallen forefather, raise me up with slip down into sin, setting before me the ways of repentance. Thou who by thy most glorious ascension didst see by the flesh that thou hast taken, and didst honor with the seed at the right hand of the Father. God save me for the partaking of thy holy mysteries to obtain a place of thy right in the land and that I save. Amen. <coughs> With me, O God, and with faith draw nigh. Hallelujah, bless the Lord at all times. His grace shall continually be in my mouth. I believe, O Lord, and I confess, Thou art truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who has come into the world to save sinners, of whom I am chief. Moreover, I believe this is truly Thy own most dear body, and this is truly Thy own precious blood. Wherefore I pray thee, have mercy on me, and forgive me my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word and deed, in knowledge and ignorance, and vouchsafe me to partake without condemnation of thy most dear mysteries, unto remission of sins and life of the last amen. Of thy mystical supper, O Son of God, receive me today as a communicant, for I will not speak the mysteries of thy enemies, nor will I give thee a kiss to Jesus. For like the thief to where I confess thee, remember me, O Lord, in thy kingdom. Let not the communion of thy holy mysteries be unto me for judgment or condemnation, O Lord, nor the healing of the soul and body.
other people, you are a son of her ten. Taste the heavenly bread and the cup of life, and see that the Lord is good. Second tone, God is the Lord, and hath appeared unto us. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. O give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Yes, 
we all be Christians, have acquired ever as a refuge and rampart, be we glorified unceasingly in our unwedded pride. Holy great martyr, fear or pray to God for us. Initiated into the divine mysteries of our Theodore and understanding, in our shame, preaching, God has confessed the birth of God. Holy great martyr, fear or pray to God for us. As they serve the passions, they thought that God himself is subject to passion, but enlightened by the spirit of victorious Theodore, thou didst prove them to be wrong. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As we sing thy praises, we entreat thee, blessed Theodore, and through thy intercessions we are delivered from passions and from all distress. Would now and ever and until the ages of ages of men. And still feel, very in the quickening ear of wheat, that give his life to the world, say those who sing their praise and so fail so cold. Holy great mother, fear, or pray to God for us. Love the Lord who loveth you, that is to cry out the martyr Theodore to the others that suffered martyrdom with thee. Holy great mother, fear, or pray to God for us. Zeal, O victorious saint, that it's burn up the idol of the false goddess together with the heathen temple. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. With thy invincible power, O victorious Theodore, destroy my passions and the insolent boldness of the enemy. Good now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Theotokos, we praise thee as a virgin after childbirth. Let us bring into the world God the Word made flesh. O Holy Great Mother, fear or pray to God for us. How weak, how frail is the arrogance of the false gods. They need men to defend them, and they are conquered by the fortitude of the martyrs who reject all lies and who proclaim the truth. O Holy Great Mother, fear or pray to God for us. How frail is the arrogance of the false gods, they need men to defend them, and they are conquered by the fortitude of the martyrs who reject all lies and who proclaim the truth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O blessed Theodore, glory of martyrs, made strong by the power of God, without his regard, the, tor- the torments of the ungodly, as though we, they were arrows, shot by children, for thou foresaw the end eternity of the ages to come. Good now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. May we be delivered from our grievous transgressions by thy prayers, O pure Mother of God. May we dwell in the divine glory of thy Son, who took flesh and hath from thee. Having received the faith of Christ in thy heart as a breastplate, thou didst trample upon the enemy, also great champion, and thou hast been crowned eternally with a heavenly crown, as the heart and hands of all. O holy great martyr, fear or pray to God for us. My body was scourged for the sake of God the Word, scourged in the flesh because of us. I rejoice in a victorious martyr Theodore, with thanksgiving laws, cried aloud to him, O God, our fathers, blessed art thou. O holy great martyr Theodore, pray to God for us. The deliverer of all was laid in the tomb, and of his own will sealed up, and in the same way thou was sealed up in the prison of victorious martyr Theodore. And there it is cried aloud, O God, our fathers, blessed art thou. O holy great martyr Theodore, pray to God for us. Thou hast slain the passions and shake off the desires of the flesh of victorious martyr, nourished not by food, but by the love of God. Thou didst sing, O God, our fathers, blessed art thou. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Corruptible Trinity appeared to the imprisoned of passion bearers. Once he appeared to the children of the furnace, and he gave thee strength to cry aloud, O God of our fathers, blessed art thou. Would now and ever and unto the ages of ages, Amen. Since it was thy will, O Savior, to the stone of salvation, thou didst take up thy dwelling in the virgin tomb, and thou made us her the protector of the world. O God of our fathers, blessed art thou. Holy great martyr Theodore, pray to God for us. Blinded in his understanding, the governor of the lawless people, and mm-hmm. they rebuked thee for thy faith in God. Fool, he 
sin, why does thou mean except thy trust in the man that was put to death? But that is cry aloud, O ye children, bless ye, O ye priests, sing his praises, O ye people, supremely exalt him unto all ages. Holy, great, modesty, praise your God for us. And so why is in prudence, sword of grace, O Theodore, with the grace given thee by God, that is to cry aloud the commander, when he ordered thee to offer him his sacrifice? This would be a disgrace to me and all who sing. O ye children, bless, O ye priests, sing his praises, O ye people, supremely exalt him unto all ages. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Resisting with youthful courage, that is boldly accused the tyrant saint. Why art thou so mad as to bid me forsake the Creator and falsely worship things created? But I cry aloud, O ye children, bless, O ye priests, sing his praises, O ye people, supremely exalt him unto all ages. Would now endeavor unto the ages of ages, amen. Through visible forms, through dark figures and symbols, Moses and the prophets foretold, O virgin, thy marvelous child bearing in ways surpassing nature. Joyfully then, with true faith, we sing thy praises. And we supremely exalt Christ unto all ages. O holy, great, mighty, fear, our great to God for us. Was thy, <clears throat> was thy love of God that brought thee to martyrdom? Thy body was consumed by the material fire, and thou hast departed rejoicing into the divine fire. O victorious martyr Theodore, servant of God. O holy, great, mighty, fear, our great to God for us. Thou hast not destroyed by the fire, but hast thyself burnt up error and falsehood. Thou standest in God's presence, alive and rejoicing in him with a martyr's joy. O passion bearer Theodore, servant of God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. We acknowledge thee, O Christ, to be one of the Trinity and two perfect natures. Save this thy people that thou hast acquired with thy precious blood. Through the prayers of the passion bearer Theodore. Would now endeavor unto the ages of ages of men. He who has carried in thine arms the invisible God, who art praised in the heavens by all the angelic hosts, he through whom at all times he granted salvation and distress we magnify. Holy God, holy mighty, holy Lord, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy Lord, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy Lord, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord, blot out our sins. O Master, pardon our iniquities, O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities by thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, the Lord of the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And he is not into temptation, but deliver us from evil one. Blessed the kingdom of the power and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. Great are thee, O God, accomplishments of faith in the fountain of faith, as it be perishing water. And the holy martyr, the adored rejoice. For having given made a whole burnt offering in the fire, he was offered a sweet bread unto the Trinity. By his prayers, O Christ God, save the our souls. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Having received the faith of Christ in thy heart is a breast, thou didst trample upon the enemy, O so great champion, and thou hast been crowned eternally with a heavenly crown, as thou art invincible. Lord, now endeavor unto the ages of ages, amen. All of us in our sinfulness, all of our urban software as our protection and our sure defense. O most pure Mary, Virgin and Mother, the salvation of Christians, cease not to intercede for us before the Savior, that we may receive forgiveness. 
O Lord, who hast brought all things to perfection through thy work, and hast commanded the earth to bring forth all manner of fruits for our enjoyment and food, who by legumes did show the three children and Daniel who were in Babylon to be fairer than those who fed on pleasant things. Do thou, O all good king, bless this grain mixed with fruit, and sanctify those that partake of them. For to thy glory and in honor of Saint Theodore and the holy part, forty martyrs of Sebast hath these been offered by thy servants, and in memory of the pious who have ended this life in faith. And grant, O good one, to them that have prepared these things, and celebrate this memorial, all petitions that are unto salvation, and the enjoyment of thine eternal good things, through the intercessions of our most pure Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, of the holy grave martyr Theodore, and the holy forty martyrs of Sebast, whose memorial also we celebrate, and of all thy saints. For thou art he who dost bless and sanctify all things, O our God, and unto thee do we send up glory. To the unoriginate Father, with thine only begotten Son, and thy most holy and good and life creating Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. These grains and fruits are blessed by the sprinkling of this holy water in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. These grains and fruits are blessed by the sprinkling of this holy water in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. These grains and fruits are blessed by the sprinkling of this holy water in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Blessed be the name of the Lord, and forth and forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord, and forth and forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord, and forth and forevermore. I will bless the Lord at all times, His praise shall continually be in my mouth. In the Lord shall my soul be praised, let them be clear and be glad. O magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt His name together. I sought the Lord, and He heard me, and delivered me from all my tribulations. Come unto Him, and be enlightened, and your faces shall not be ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all his tribulations. The angel of the Lord went camp round about them that fear him, and will deliver them. Go taste and see that the Lord is good. Trust is the man that will be the end. O fear the Lord, all ye saints, for there is no one to them that fear him. Rich man turn for the love hungry, and the day of sick of heart shall not be deprived of any good thing. Come ye children, hearken unto me, I will teach you the fear of the Lord. What man is there that desire in life, beloved, to see good days? Keep thy tongue from evil, and thy lips from speaking guile. Turn away from evil and do good, seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are open unto their supplication. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil, utterly to destroy the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry in the Lord heard them, and he delivered them out of all their tribulations. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a controlling heart, and he will save the humble of spirit. Many are the tribulations of the righteous, and the Lord shall deliver them out of them all. The Lord keepeth all their bones, not one of them shall be broken. The death of sinners is evil, and they that hate the righteous shall do wrong. The Lord redeem the souls of his servants, and none of them will do wrong that hope in him. Many are the tribulations of the righteous, and the Lord shall deliver them out of them all. The Lord keepeth all their bones, not one of them shall be broken. The death of sinners is evil, and they that hate the righteous shall do wrong. The Lord redeem the souls of his servants, and none of them will do wrong that Lord in him. The Lord be upon you through his grace and love for mankind.
Christ, our true God, through the intercessions of his most pure mother, through the power of the precious and life-giving cross, through the intercessions of the holy, glorious, and all-praised apostles, of the holy, glorious, and victorious martyrs, of our holy and God-bearing fathers, of the holy, great martyr and healer, Pontelaman, of our father among the saints, John the Wonder Worker, Archbishop of Shanghai and San Francisco, of the holy, great martyr Theodore, of the holy, forty martyrs of Sebast, of the holy, martyr Conan, and of all the our Father among the saints, Gregory, the dialogist, Pope of Rome, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and the lover of mankind. Amen. Our great Lord and Father, Kirill, most holy patriarch of Moscow and the Russia, our Lord, the very most reverend Nicholas, Metropolitan of Eastern America and New York, the star of the Russian Church abroad, the all venerable abbot of this holy monastery, recommend us here of him, the brethren of this holy monastery, and all Orthodox Christians, reserve the Lord for many years. Praise be, O God, Lord, and be, O God, Lord, and be, O
Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, and now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. The Lord God of our sins, and ask and pardon our iniquities. The Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. O Father, who art in heaven, and hallowed be thy name. The kingdom of God, and will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us along with the temptation, and deliver us from evil one. Amen.